It's only entertainment. Back with the Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Back with your boy Jason Lammers for another uh, Chronic Club product review for Panacea Gold Blunt Sticks. It's an eighth, it's uh, three and a half grams. I'm smoking on a hybrid indica. This is blueberry. What do you got, Jason? Train wreck? So we got a train wreck. A little sativa there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give you seven criteria. Our panaceas, blunt sticks. All right, take a look at appearance, aroma, taste, strength, quality, brand, packaging, and then value. Would we recommend it? Notice there's been a lot of uh, absenteeism on my behalf. Had shoulder surgery, moved, uh, you know, summer crazy stuff. But we're back. Got some product reviews. Diving into appearance here. Um, I mean, when you look at it, looks good. I like the little wood tip, you know, packed at the uh, at the top, nice and straight. I think they use like the best. So we'll we'll get to strength and effect in a second. But when it says 26.9% cannabinoids, we'll get there. Um, it's not get too hard. far ahead of ourselves. So with appearance, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, a full point. I think it looks good. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, it's definitely a different uh, style from a lot of the blunt wraps you see in the marketplace. So they definitely uh, get some points for uniqueness and creativity I'd say. I mean if nothing else they threw a full eighth of a gram. I mean <laughs> eighth of an ounce in here, three and a half grams. Um, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. I like it. I like the wood tip too. Um, so I mean maybe that'll be quality of care. I think they took some extra care of that wood tip. Uh, aroma. Um, I mean I gotta be real. That's this smells good though. This blueberry Normally, when I smell these, I don't smell shit. So I'm not sure I can be like the best judge. Maybe even the train wreck. Right? And, that's the word to it. and it doesn't smell like synthetic or fake, you know. Like some, some I've had some flavored blunts that are like you know have some wonderful little blueberry name to it, and you smoke on it, and it tastes like it's got some artificial crap in it, you know. Yeah, I think we've had plenty of those on the golf course. Um, I'm still gonna give it three quarters of a point. I'm a, I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to aroma because I wanna. You know, like Third Avenue in, in Seattle, across from the uh, the courthouse, has got the best smelling weed like ever, all the time, consistently. That's what I want to smell when I when I smoke. Uh, and so, if I don't get like that super pungent aroma, like knocking your face scum, then you know we got a discount. So I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm gonna give them. What did I give them? Three quarters of a point. Yeah. So, where are you at for? Aroma? Yeah, probably three quarters. And then taste. Do you taste train wreck? Yeah, I actually like this. So this is actually the second uh, different strain I've tried of these so far. Uh, last time I was on the golf course, I got one of these, which is a great little golf course uh, blunts. Um, I actually like the train wreck better than, I forget the strain I had the first one, but uh, I like the strain wreck better than the first one. I've got Jack Hare a lot. Train wreck, blueberry. Um, but yeah, I'm not too shabby. <coughs> um, I mean, I don't, I don't taste like snozberries or anything, but I don't, I don't taste anything nasty. So, um, I should have done a dry pull just to see. Um, so, you know, I'll give it three quarters of a point just because, um, you know, it could taste like baked goods. Where are you at? Yeah, three quarters of a point sounds good. All right. 
So strength and effect. We finally made it. So 26.9%. Um, you know, that's that's pretty high. Yeah, 23 on the train wreck. So we've got we've got an unnamed ounce here that I bought. It's it's clean green certified. Um, outdoor forty dollars. And uh, this says twenty percent. I think they're lying on that too. I think this is closer to sixteen percent for for this outdoor ounce that I bought for forty bucks. Um, and and I think that's probably stronger than this blunt. So for the, the blunt to say that it's twenty six point nine percent, I mean, I, so I'm an avid smoker, but that doesn't mean that I need something that's a concentrate ninety percent. I don't think, I don't, I, mean, I have a hard time believing this is 26 dollars if, if it's just flour, that seems like it's definitely pushing the, the limits anyway. That's kind of what we know as far as flour levels, right? You know, I remember in the early 502 days, a lot of flowers uh, advertising 30, 35% type THC numbers and all those kind of vanished when some of the uh, bad labs got kind of outed. Right. And so, uh, and unfortunately, I think there's still occasionally some, some uh, gained numbers. So... It's debatable for sure. So it's not super crispy dry. A lot of people will reduce the humidity to increase the THC percentage. The less amount of moisture, the higher the, the THC percentage. Um, I think what, what could be more of a result, because I don't see any, um, I don't see any trichomes teeth. I don't see anything like on the, anywhere in this packaging, right? So. I'm not saying there that this company Panacea is doing this, but I know for a fact other companies keep their flour after it's tested. They'll test the cola and they'll, they'll, they'll get a key fox or whatever and grab what they can uh, off of that. Do you see a lot of that? People that uh, keep after testing. Have you heard about anybody doing that? I haven't heard of that specifically, but I'm sure there's uh, a lot of creative uh, solutions people come up with to. Uh, Get the better numbers, right? Yeah. So, <coughs> for uh, for strength, I like something where I can smoke two or three of these in a day. So that's why I buy them. Um, most of the time, like if you're going out and you're getting blunted, uh, you're one and done. You're sitting on the couch and you're out. So if that's kind of, you would be disappointed if you bought these. But I like them for the golf course. I can smoke two of these on the golf course and one when I get home. Yeah. Um, you know, eighteen, twenty dollars, whatever these are, for an eighth, I think is incredibly reasonable. You buy eight of these, one hundred twenty, one hundred forty dollars for an ounce. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, especially since it all works down for you, right? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. So for me, the effect and the strength is is ideal. I like sixteen, eighteen percent sun grown. Um, so I'm going to give them a full point because that's what I like. But I realize that a lot of people would not enjoy the effect of this part. What do you like? Well, for me, flour doesn't have a lot of potency in general to me, so regardless of what they claim the number is or not. Um, You're a big know, dabber. I don't know. I mean, I, I smoke solvents and I do edibles and RSO, and so I'm, I'm doing concentrated products pretty rarely. So I think with that in your system all the time, you know, pretty much any flour product is... So if you just enjoy and relax, you know, it's not, it's really not about getting fucked up when it comes to flour, you know? Yeah. It's just kind of something you can, you know, a much better uh, tobacco alternative. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you at with string? <laughs> yeah, I like it. So you know, let's do 0.75. 0.75. Sick. We keep doing 0.75s for now. Something to drink. Let's get a little, a little dry in there. Right? Um, quality and care. I mean, to make something like this is not easy. To, to jam an eighth into a blunt with a wooden tip. So I was talking to the bud tender at Kush 21 in Burien who sold this to me. And she said she tried saving the wood tip to reuse it. She's like, nope, it didn't work. So, I mean, it's in there. It works. You had a canoe. Yep. Right, so you had to just yep. get rid of like three quarters of, of an ounce. So I know, well, you know I, I smoked most of it, but not an ounce, two quarters of an inch. It ran a little bit. 
but you know that I find that actually happens a lot, unfortunately. And yeah. regardless of whether it's blends or pre rolls, it seems to be kind of a problem in the industry. It seems like you know there are a lot of joints and blends that can just kind of get away from you. Yep, yeah, it happens a lot. Um, so I mean, I think they've done a good job. I don't think they're necessarily using the top quality. Honestly, I think they're probably using something like this for the inside. This is a forty dollar ounce. Um, so they're probably using you know outdoor flour like this that's more than likely actually 16 and not 20 that, that this company stated or the 26 that Panacea stated. Um, so I'm going to say um, three quarters of a point, actually two thirds, two thirds of a point. Stick with my three quarters, seems about accurate. All right, brand and packaging. Um, the brand is hard to find online. I noticed social media is difficult to, to uh, put them in there. I think the branding is, is, is really basic. Uh, so they're hard to find online and, and it's basic, but I mean, it's to the point. So the packaging is, is solid, it's childproof, it's, it is what it needs to be. Uh, but I think they could be more accessible. And for that, I'll give them three percent. Yeah, I think overall it's decent, but yeah, I think they could probably step it up a little bit. Is that three quarters? Yeah, yeah three quarters. Uh, value. Uh, I keep coming back to it. That's why I wanted to do a product review because I smoked so many of these. I was in a sling for two weeks and then I could use a bubbler, so I was like reliant on this. Um, so I kind of feel like beholden to these. I'm going to be using these for golfing next year after I do my physical therapy for my shoulder. Uh, and these will make its way on the golf course. So I think there's a lot of value. Um, I also get a discount for being in the industry. That helps. But I mean, $20 online for anybody. You get 10% off if you order online. I get, I think, 25 for being in the industry. Uh, so 18 bucks or whatever it comes out to is, I think, a great deal for an eighth. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give them a full point. Yeah. And I would highly recommend it if anybody is looking for something that's very, very mild. Uh, you know, that's not going to get you super hammered, but something that's going to be so sweet. You can smoke this thing for a while. Like, I'm about halfway through it, and I'm still, still going. Yep. So. Yeah, I'll give a full point, too. Full point. Yeah, the same price point, solid. All right. So, that means they got... It's an 83%, not too shabby. Definitely going to be coming back for more for the Panacea Blunt Sticks. Um, I don't know where you can find them online. Where can they find you online? Check me out at uh, 420wholesalepack.com. That's right. And maybe Panacea should pick up some of his recycled dupe tubes made out of 100% recycled product made in the U.S. Cheaper than uh, anywhere else you can find it. And um, yeah, right here in the U.S. So check that out. And with that, we're going to roll this up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is Jason Lammers. Product review for Chronic Club. We're out. Have a new one. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.